Hey Pisces, this is your love reading for January 2017. I hope these messages find you well. Now this is going to be a group reading because I honestly don't feel like breaking this shit down to be quite frank with you. So I'm just going to let this be um, an important message for everybody, you know, regardless if you are single, date, and taken, complicated. This is what you need to be aware of and this is what you need to know during this time. Please watch your rising, your sun, your moon, and your Venus signs because those signs may give you more clarity during this time. And sorry if I seem dull. I honestly don't feel good right now. So, But... Let's see what's going on from the Pisces for January 2017 in regards to the love life. I am going to show you guys these cards. I'm going to pull nine cards for you guys. But I'm being told to do just overall message from both decks. The uh, Romance with Angel deck and um, the Psychic deck. For you guys so important message in regards to pisces in regards to their love life for january 2017. i'm hearing abundance but with yourself calling in your soulmate so i feel like rather you are finding love during this time or you already are in a relationship and you you know want to experience this type of soulmate connection i am picking up that you guys are going to feel this whether this is positive or negative however if you are single you may be wishing for a type of soulmate love to come into your life i do not feel like this is a negative thing um but this situation you know comes with lessons and i'm hearing morals for some of you um so it honestly just depends. Some of you guys, you may find the love of your life this month. Or, you know, you may find that even if you're married, taken, whatever the case may be. Um, or you just newly start dating somebody. You know, you may find that this person was just more of a lesson than a beautiful fairy tale. But um, I do feel like with me saying abundance, but with yourself, like self-abundance pretty much. Um, be mindful that you need to be the one, you know, to change. Pay attention to the type of relationships that you previous had, that you previously had, and how you, as a person, you know, could have done things differently. Like not in a bad way, but I just feel like a lot of you, maybe there was a situation, you know, due to past relationships where, you know, you could have expressed yourself differently or. You could have, like, taken the time to, like, really realize the red flags. So, I guess it honestly just depends. So, you know, kind of, it's kind of like be the example deal. Um, be who you want to attract. I said this a long time ago. Like, I made a video of this a long time ago in regards to how to attract your soulmate. Huh, I'm going to see if I can find it. If I find it, I'll post it below. All right. Let's see. Important message for... Pisces. Some of you guys have a connection to a Capricorn, rather this is somebody from the past, present, maybe even future. And I feel like this person will be significant in regards to your love life, rather mediocre, positive, or negative. First card on the top for Pisces in regards to the love life for January 2017. Destiny. This is the will card. So some of you guys, I do feel like your love life is going to you know, turn for better or for worse. I do feel like, you know, there may be a situation where you guys have been married for, you know, 10 to maybe 30 years. You know, you may decide, uh, maybe I'm not meant to be with this person. I do feel like there's going to be a change, of course, for some of you guys. Um, but I do feel like there's going to be some sort of a luck for you if you have a connection to a leo for some reason or especially if you have leo in your chart there's going to be like luck on your side in regards to love some of you may have um a blessing in disguise you know so just honestly pay attention to what's going on all right but let me see what's going on for pisces in regards to the love life for january 2017 give me nine cards okay there's a song by Missy Elliott, I think. I think it's called Unforgettable. 
chat if i can find it i'll i'll type it below once again um but i do feel like there's gonna be something that you guys honestly i'm picking up on memories do be careful of you being swept away from with memories okay we have the magician in reverse two of obviously two of swords jesus two of wands two of swords is relevant for some reason Bevel in reverse interesting i did talk about a capricorn earlier the sun i did talk about a leo the death in reverse all right interesting six of wands breathe that's what i heard five of uh pentacles in reverse i want to say five of swords knight of wands knight of pentacles all right card on the bottom tower in reverse what i'm picking up for you guys is especially my pisces women maybe my pisces men as well but i'm picking up that there's going to be some sort of meanness meaningness sorry to the madness it's kind of like you're opening up your eyes. So if you hear that, they are doing some sort of construction work outside. Not sure why, but um, you guys are going to be able to like really understand what's going on. So you guys may be in a really weird situation where, you know, there is a lot of toxic energy, maybe um, some sort of betrayal, deception, especially with the five of swords. I said that um for the five of pentacles and you know some of you guys want to walk away from a particular situation but it's kind of like you have ties to this person whether there is an emotional tie and you feel like you know you're meant to be with this person or you know you guys have been married for a long time you have things in your name like you have things together as an asset you have a home you know yeah you have children whatever the case may be i feel like a lot of you you're like you know what that doesn't mean anything anymore. If I'm not happy, then I'm not happy. You know, I can't fake me being happy. I can't. And I feel like, you know, this may be a big shocker for some reason. Whether this is in regards to your family or maybe a shock to yourself that you're actually deciding to stick up for yourself and get rid of this person who you had a connection to for a very long time. I feel like in regards to this Capricorn person, um, I do feel like this person is kind of fading out of your life. Whether, you know, you try to make it work or they try to make it work. I do feel like either you or this person is kind of walking away due to they're not being a stable foundation with this person. All right. Um, I am picking up that something in regards to like affecting your business, either your love life or there is like different schedules. For some reason, somebody or yourself is affecting your business especially if you have your own business do be careful of somebody with like negative energy i don't know why i'm picking up on somebody who is like very money hungry maybe you're spending a lot of your money on a particular person or like you are dealing with this person's karmic debt interesting with the um will of fortune the destiny card that popped out in the uh psychic deck so do be careful of, you know, you letting somebody take away your luck. You guys need to be careful of you putting potential in tricky relationships. It's kind of like you're idolizing um, or you're hoping that somebody will be good. But in reality, you know, this person may be very sneaky and snake-like. For some reason, I am picking up on, on the lovers in reverse. Um, and also, you know, be careful of you kind of faking the funk and making it seem like you're interested in somebody, but in reality, you're really not. Because I am picking up that, you know, the tables will turn and karma will get you if you have been lying or if you have been, like, cheating on people. I'm also picking up that some of you, you may uh, get out of a um, threesome type, you know, situation. Rather, this was intended or this was behind your back. I don't know why. I feel like maybe my married couples or those who've been in a relationship, you guys were having threesome 
relationships but i feel like it, it gotten out of hand maybe the person you know either you or your partner wanted to do it more than usual or you discovered that you know somebody favored a particular person and this person was like always involved in the activities i just feel like you know there was something that went wrong in regards to threesomes however if you haven't if you don't deal with threesomes that message is not for you these are these are general readings but I do feel like regardless of what's going on, you guys are going to gain clarity. You know, even if you have been in a trouble, a troublesome relationship or if you've been attracting a lot of just bullshit like people. Um, and also, I do feel like you guys are going to be aware of your own wrongdoings. In regards to the death being in reverse, some of you guys may be dealing with a Scorpio who isn't on their right. I'm picking a right path, but... I'm picking up right path or is it in the right mind? Maybe this person, um, I feel like not trying to be funny. They're like the destructive version of you. Pisces, they're known as the daydreamer. And some, not all, Pisces, when they are on this, you know, confusing journey and they aren't really sure what's going on, they tend to rely on like you know drugs or they tend to daydream a lot okay um and i feel like you know this person they have qualities of you know that's similar to your destructive self so do be careful of you meeting this person because i am picking up that this person is going to open up doors for you that are very chaotic because i keep picking up that somebody's opening up a door and there's like a lot of demons just jumping out daddy what are you doing but I also feel like you guys need to be careful of you going back and forth with the partnership or, you know, with the relationship that is like, that's ran its course. I do see where some of you, it's like you're going back to give this person a second chance or like you're going back because you have children. You know, you are the one living in this situation. So do what's best for you. But I am getting the message of, you know, some of you guys just need to just take the high road. I honestly feel like, you know, if you are being cheated on or if you are cheating, business and financial situations are going to suffer, all right? Okay, with the five of pentacles in reverse energy, the angels are saying, if you know you're being cheated on, don't play victim. Just get out of it. Like, don't stay in something that you aren't wanted in. Some of you guys, y'all, you may have a uh, you may have a connection to fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, is maybe a Leo in the midst, or somebody who has a lot of Leo in their chart. But I feel like um, with this fire sign person, there seems to be an energy where they may be chasing after somebody from the past, or they just have a lot of past issues that they haven't coped with yet and you may find it very hard to keep this person's attention maybe vice versa okay um if you are dealing with an earth sign capricorn Taurus, and virgo i do feel like you know this person i feel like this person they kind of just want to focus on themselves they may have feelings for somebody else or they're healing from a previous relationship and i feel like they don't really want to take relationships too seriously at the moment because i just feel like there's very slow paced energy with this person some of you may even find this earth sign person a bit boring or vice versa but honestly overall i do feel like the big message for you guys in regards to your love life is you know before you end a relationship or you know whatever the case may be um make sure that you are fully coping with it or you've healed from it because you don't want to end something that you're just going to have to go back to whether this is you actually go back to them or there's still some sort of karmic lesson that you need to understand with this person because i am picking up once again with the death card being in reverse it's like you guys aren't really understanding the lesson there's so much more that you need to learn okay so just make sure you are on your best behavior i'm picking up for some of you and you really understand the lesson before you can close that door, all right? So hopefully you guys enjoyed this reading. Good luck with everything. And I should be back for February.